Hello everyone and welcome to the 13th electronics tutorial. In this tutorial we will explore operational amplifiers. Operational amplifiers or op amps are a special kind of amplifier used in audio and medical equipment. Op amps are a complex network of transistors, resistors and capacitors which are packaged into an integrated circuit. Op amps were originally used in analogue computers to do mathematical functions. The example you can see on the screen demonstrates op amps being used to create amplitude modulation. This schematic diagram for the LM741 op amp IC shows the components which are etched into it. As you can see, it is a fairly complex arrangement of components and it would take a large space if we were to build this circuit. The schematic symbol for the op-amp is a triangle with two inputs. The non-inverting input, the inverting input, and at the other end there is an output. When you study a schematic diagram, you may notice a difference in the way the symbol is displayed. Often, schematics will show extra connections. They are commonly for power. It is important to remember when wiring an op-amp IC that the pins for positive voltage and ground are connected. As with other components in every circuit, the power supply is implied for better clarity and availability in the workspace. As the gain of the op-amp is so huge, we need to add other components to give it practical usage. Commonly, you will see the op-amp configured with some other components looping back to the inverting or non-inverting input. We call this the feedback loop. We will demonstrate basic op-amp circuits in various configurations and look at the formula used to calculate the expected output. We will cover inverting amplifier, non-inverting amplifier, difference amplifier, inverting summing amplifier and we will finish with a practical application. <laughs> 